Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and one more Twitter thread! One more Twitter thread! This week, we're gonna, we're gonna do one next week as well. Today we are looking at not the text of the cards, but the art. Yu-Gi-Oh! has some of the best art in the world. Yeah, I think actually probably that is 100% a lie. But could Michelangelo have painted feet ash? Anyway, today we are going to be looking at some of the worst art that Yu-Gi-Oh! is responsible for. Now, a lot of the times Yu-Gi-Oh!'s bad art is the result of very early production issues, you know? Uh, maybe you weren't that discerning about who was drawing what and where because you had to push out 55,000 cards yesterday for a ripoff of Magic the Gathering that Kazuki Takahashi made in 15 minutes on the back of a napkin. But even more modern cards occasionally look terrible. Terrible. So today we're gonna see what the community thinks is the worst of the worst. So let's uh, let's let's get going. I think this one speaks for itself. We actually don't have this card in America. It's an OCG exclusive at the current moment, uh, but it's also featured on the art of greater polymerization. All right, monster designs that have overly detailed human hands for some reason. You have ruined this card for me. Oh no 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 no. What the fuck is going on with this dude's hand? This is actually the least mad Farfa viewer. Shouts out to Bees Vaj. China knows no. Dras and Dryerentiary are good because they are a pretty pink tree, but these two are dog shit. Nope, absolutely wrong, Dyer. 100% disagree. <laughs> The series of Link monsters that are just a tree, a slightly smaller tree, a slightly bigger tree are the funniest thing ever. On stream one day, I decided that these looked more like old school Yu-Gi-Oh cards and deserve to be named as such. We have the forest with a ghost, dark tree, petal elf number two, and enormous oak. As a representative of the weird design decision during Arc V, why do all the dimension dragons just have balls on them? They got orbs everywhere. Every time I see this card, it, it is just incomprehensible, and Secret Rare does it no favors. Here's the actual art. I remember people posting it the day that it was revealed and being like, wow, this is truly a remarkable piece. I have no fucking clue what is going on here. I miss when uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they used to be like, what are we drawing for the background? And someone would just go, like a miasma, just like a bunch of lines, like squiggly lines. She... She, she give me brain and then she jack. I don't know. Where, I don't know where to go with this one. Okay, so this card is going to come out shortly, but I really like how it looks. It is undoubtedly disgusting as shit. Okay, so this is this is a corn cob, right? This is a corn cob. I love this one. Wow! This looks like one of those things that they give dementia patients where they like name one thing in this image. I have no clue what's going on in here. It's got like a face. It's got one big foot in the middle, maybe guns or swords somewhere on it. I don't like it. Love be gone, Knave. I will now ruin the card for you forever. Why his hand so big? They're just, they're just letting you put anything on, on a card now. It, uh, I do like that the, the crotch does kind of, it looks like it's smiling a little bit. It's like, ooh, what's the problem? It's a giant, it's exactly what it says on the tin. Giant red hand. And we put blades on it for some reason. Orbs, 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 orbs. It is a bizarre choice to take cartoony, deviant art looking fairies and then put them on top of what appears to be an actual photograph of a flower. <laughs> there is a certain charm to old school Yu-Gi-Oh, but some of them look like they were made in MS Paint in 10 minutes. Angel of Zara's art style is so niche, it looks like a custom card whose image was stolen from deviant art. This looks like a Magic the Gathering card. Bro, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Where are my Twin Long Rods number two fans at? The Twin Long Rods number two fandom is dying. Repost this to make it die faster. <laughs> What's the problem with this one? I don't know. I don't see the issue. Chosen of Zephyr isn't ugly, but the thing is, they just cut out all of the monsters from their original prints and pasted them on a background. Holy fuck. You have ruined this for me forever. This has become a Team Sam thumbnail. Wow, that is... This is the thumbnail to a video called Zephyr Explained, and it's 35 minutes long. No. Okay, this card has been playable a number of times, and every time it is, I am struck by just how bad it looks. What's going on in this picture? Is this man getting a handy from a angel? You decide. This one's racist, right? I feel like I shouldn't have to say it, but like, it's a little like extremely racist. I'm gonna give it to you, Odd Winters. These cards actually look like ass the second that you look at them for more than a second. This, this looks like 
my first anime OC. I never saw a high def of this. He's got the tiniest head in the world. The definitive bad card art is Morinfen, which got memed into getting official sleeves in Japan. I have these sleeves. I use them to this day. If you thought Twin Rods number two was epic. So this is clearly two different people drawing it. The like bottom and the top do not go together. <laughs> you can even see where they stopped drawing it here in the middle. And then they ran out of space in the card frame for the head. So they just put it on the chest. Sigma male Mike Wazowski here. <laughs> I have no no idea what is going on with the scare clause. So like they, what is, <laughs> here's the problem with the scare clause. Everyone is bad in a different way. Try heart. You cannot name a single fucking thing on it. Reichart looks like how to draw anime. He's going like this. And then their link monster is just a Funko pop. Like they just, they just threw the fucking Funko pop in the archetype. It's like 3d for some reason. He's doing the sweet bro and hella Jeff face. I love cloudy and I of the typhoon. He looks like shit. Uh, I got this like half finished art. What do you want me to do with it? Uh, we'll use it as a removal spell. Can you just draw a hole? This guy is so funny. He has cock muscles. This one's so cool. I'm sorry. This one's amazing. He's emaciated dog. He is emaciated, dehydrated. He is in a ton of pain and he is in the best damn splite list I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I'm glad you turned up the contrast for this because otherwise I would have no idea what to do with this card. He's in an impossible position. It's got like 45 different wings coming out at different angles. We've got the fucking Lance of Longinus pointed directly at you. So it gets really big and then really small. And it was also clearly drawn on after everything else. Like look how he's gripping it. I really hate speaking ill of my girl and I'll refuse to acknowledge this fact but why are her knees like that? How long are her legs? What the fuck? You can see that her foot ends like immediately afterwards by looking at that one. So this woman's feet look like this. Yeah, that's awful. That's, man, that's not good. Ooh, Gucci! This monster may attack your opponent's life points directly, but you gotta ask him. I ain't saying shit to this guy. Yeah. We were all kind of okay forgetting about this one. Unfortunately, it was really, really important in early Duel Links to gate farm. Electrum has so much going on. We've got a dick that is like halfway down his thigh. Got these circular abs that he's got like 40 of. And then like the biggest arms I've ever seen in my entire life. Again, pinchable waist. I'm glad that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't print bad art anymore. And every new thing that's revealed is revered by the player base for being one of the most interesting and beautiful designs of all time. Actually, maybe Konami was onto something without crediting their artists. Imagine the hate they would get for Toadmaster. Thankfully, we only print good art these days, like 47 different variants of Ecclesia that we can all jerk off to. That can't be the ending.